Hey guys, Chuck here. Tonight we're going to be making a Thai dish. It's a grilled fish with garlic and cilantro. Uh, it's pretty easy to make. All you need is a barbecue pit and of course some fish. So what kind of fish are we going to use tonight? We're going to use a speckled trout, the trout that I caught in my previous video. I don't know if y'all saw or not, the one in Matt Gordon. Anyway, you don't have to check it out. Let me tell you what's in it. So we're going to use one speckled trout. Of course, the ones that I caught the other night on my other video. We're going to use eight to 10 garlic cloves. We're going to roughly chop them. We're going to use some cilantro stem and a little bit of cilantro root powder. We're going to use one teaspoon of ground white pepper, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of vegetable oil, or what I'm going to use is olive oil. And we're going to use a banana leaf. And I'm also going to use a little bit of lemongrass. And we're going to make a chili sauce. And I'm going to show you how to make that in another video. But the chili sauce is for dipping. And that's it. Okay, so now basically all we're going to do is we're going to blend this up into a paste. Kind of like a pesto sauce. So we're going to chop up our garlic pieces. And we're just going to dump everything in here. Our peppers. White pepper, or coriander root, or white pepper, salt. And we're also going to take our cilantro, our cilantro stems mostly. And we're going to take our garlic oil. I mean garlic oil, I'm sorry. We're going to take our olive oil. And basically all we're going to do right now is just stick this in here. And we're going to turn this into a paste. And this is what we're going to use to season our, our fish. And that's it. Okay, so now we're gonna slice into our fish so that we can put our seasoning inside of it. Uh, my fish is cut in half only because I put it in the freezer and it wouldn't fit in the freezer bag. So mine's cut in half. But let me show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna make some diagonal cuts into the fish. Not all the way, just kind of Kind of midway. That's it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our lemongrass. Now, what this lemongrass is going to basically do. It's going to give it some flavor, but it's going to take away a lot of that fishy smell. Uh, lemongrass is pretty easy to grow outside if y'all want to grow it. Uh, you can make some pretty good tea with this. Also, you can make other recipes. I think my, my wife likes it the most is because spiders don't like it. So we're going to take this and we're going to stuff it inside here. Of course, we're not going to eat it, but it's just going to give it some flavor. There we go. So now we're going to take our sauce, and we're basically just going to rub it inside here. Get it all down inside there. Best as we possibly can. Flip it over. Maybe yours won't be cut in half, it'll be a little easier.
that's it. Now what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna put it in the refrigerator in a pan and put some saran wrap over it so your wife doesn't kill you because your entire refrigerator smells like fish. And we're gonna let it sit in there for about 30 minutes. Uh, while we're doing that, we can get the grill started. Hey guys, one helpful little hint that'll make your, make your wife happy. These little things that you cut open, the lines, if you take these lines and you rub it all over the plate and you get it on your face. This will actually get rid of the fish smell. So that way your wife's not pissed at you because you got everything smelling like fish. So you want to get it off your fingers, you want to get it off your food, you want to get it off the table. This will kill the fish smell pretty good. Little secret. Okay, our fish has been sitting in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes now. My fire's nice and hot. I'm going to prepare it for the grill. So what we're going to do now is I've taken my banana leaf and we've wiped it down really well and we're just going to transport this over to the banana leaf like so. Now what this banana leaf is going to do, it's going to basically act like foil, except instead of using foil, this is going to do a better job of keeping the moisture in and it's going to give it a little bit more better flavor. So all we're going to do is we're going to take this thing and we're going to wrap it up inside. And I've got this little skewer here and I'm just going to kind of weave it through there to keep it, keep it closed. And then we're going to set this thing on the grill and we're going to let it cook for about 15 minutes or so on each side. About 15 minutes and then we'll flip it over 15 minutes uh, then we're gonna check it and it should be ready to eat okay now we're just gonna take this thing outside and we're gonna go put it on the grill are you filming yeah You just go cut it yourself. Soon. That's it. Yeah. That's your audience. <laughs> yeah. Okay, 15 minutes. Now we're just going to flip it back over to the other side. Flip it over to the other side. Another 15 minutes. Okay guys, well it looks like our fish is finally finished after about 30 minutes on the grill. I hope you enjoy the recipe. When I used to catch all my fish, I used to fillet everything. My wife is from Thailand, so the first time I, I brought fish home, it was filleted, we cooked it, everything was great. So she brought a fish home one day and it was whole. Of course, there was no guts, no scales. Everything was all intact. And I was like, how the hell am I supposed to eat this fish? So I, she served it. She goes, well, there's bones in it. So what she did was she pulled the bones completely out and we ate the fish and all the meat was intact. And I was, it was crazy. So what I'm saying, guys, is stop filleting your fish, especially trout. Trout has very little bone. Just cook it whole. Take the guts out, scale it cook it on the grill, eat it, you can fry it, you can bake it, and do whatever you want, but you'll see that you got a lot more meat if you just pick it off the bone. Anyway, thanks for watching, watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, you can subscribe. If not, then you can watch some of my other videos. They're kind of stupid and entertaining, but anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.